Hello, Chuck Wilson here with Zebra Technologies. I'm the business development manager for the print engine line here in North America. And I'm very excited to talk to you today about our new uh, next generation print engine. We're introducing a ZE511. That's our four inch device. Four and a half inch media, 4.1 inch print width, 203 and 300 DPI, and we're introducing a 600 DPI unit. Speeds have increased two inches a second, so we'll go up to 14 nips. Uh, the 600 DPI machine will only go to six zips. But what we're excited about too is on the direct thermal, running direct thermal media in 203 DPI, we'll be running up to 18 inches a second. So that's pretty fast. Then we're also having introduced the ZE521, which is our six inch wide device. That's 7.1 inch media and 6.6 .6 inch print width. And it too has increased print speeds two inches a second. So it's up to 12 ips and, and 14 ips for 203 and 12 ips for 300. So let's take a look at the, the device. I have a ZE511 here for us to take a look at. Uh, you'll notice that our screen has changed. We now have a color touch screen. It's a 4.3 inch resistive touch screen. So I can use gloves if I'm in an environment that needs nitro gloves or work gloves of any other kind. I can actually manipulate this screen. So it's it's intuitive and it's more up to date, if you will. Everything we deal with today is a, is a touch screen. So I have a printer info side that lets me look at MAC address and IP address and printer serial number all at a, at a simple glance. And then I have my menus. So I have a settings menu, a network menu, uh, printer menu, uh, RFID menu, and a folder to, to pull information from if I have it stored on the device. Let's take a look at some of the menus. In the printer, if I go to print quality, for instance, darkness, image adjust. But if I go into any of them, where applicable, I'll have a, a slide for mass adjustments and then a plus or minus for fine tuning. But they have help screens. If I'm not sure what I'm adjusting, I can hit that help screen, find out exactly more what I'm looking for. If there's a problem, for instance, heads open, I can actually hit help Dynamic QR codes come up, so I can go ahead and scan that, take me to a website that tells me exactly what my problem is. So that front panel, just a little more um, up to date, if you will, resistive touch, 4.3 inch, it's nice and big, it's easy to, to, to read and easy to navigate. The other thing I'll point out on the front panel is we have USB host ports. So I can take a flash drive or a thumb drive, plug it in here. I could transfer files to and from that flash drive. I could also set that flash drive up to mirror. That is, I plug it in and my printer sets up exactly the way I want it to set up. So I can set that up to happen automatically. I can do that across my network or from my thumb drive. I can set up labels inside the printing device that require user input. And I can input that data via a USB scanner or via a USB keyboard, but I can do that and not have to, for simple label applications, I could not drop a network line or put a PC out on the floor to, to work with that. So that's our front panel um, in an overview. Let's take a look at the inside and see what we have changed there and what we're doing there. We have a scale now, let you specifically place your toggles and know where those toggles are placed for particular label sizes. We also have color coding for the amount of pressure you put down. So your print quality can be dialed into the nth degree just based on where the print head pressure is and where the toggle placement is. So that's a nicety for us. If we look at the inside here and open this up. Should look fairly similar to the ZE500. It's very open, very easy to get to. Three components to raise to take a look at. Your wear parts are changeable from the front of the printing device without removing it from the print and apply system. So I can change my platen roller. Pulling that out. can change my peel roller. Fasteners are captured here, so if I'm working on this in an environment, I don't have to worry about chasing screws or dropping screws. And then my pinch roller, again, this component has a 
captured fastener, so I'm not chasing after that. So all three of my wear parts that are rollers, I can change from the front of the device without removing it from the print and apply system. One of our neatest things that we've done is we've designed the head for easy change too. No tools required. Pull a tab out, grab your head, and remove it. Easy to remove even with an application mechanism in the front. So there's a female and male connector. Slide those back together. Snaps right back into place. Easy enough change. So all of my wear components, my print head, my platen pinch and peel roller, all changeable from the front of the device, all changeable within just a couple of minutes. That's the front what it looks. Some other quality of life improvements in here. We've changed the switch. It's a little more robust. We had people telling us that they didn't like that, so that's been updated. We've given you a command so that you can override that switch if you need to get in and make any adjustments to the printhead on the printhead cam system. We've also made the switch that holds the lower pill bracket assembly a little bigger, a little easier to, to handle, so you don't drop that as, as easily when you're working on it in the field. Now let's take a look at the back and see what's different inside the back of the device. I have removed four screws, so this slides off easily enough. Back has all the communication ports. You'll notice there's a USB, 9-pin serial, and wired Ethernet are standard. But we have this expansion slot. So if you still need the parallel card, you can buy that and put that in the expansion slot. You can even put another Ethernet card in here if you prefer, but only one is active for communication at any given time. Or a wireless card. Undo two screws, slide in the card, tighten the screws. I can then go into the front panel, go into the network menu, put in my ESS ID, my security protocol, my security password, reset the network, and it comes right back up on the network, and then I'd have a wireless printer. New galvanically isolated, robust I.O. card. Um, virtually indestructible. If you had a, a short in this thing, it caused this thing to, to go out, you just remove the short, power it back up, this thing folds back on itself, and everything's fine and dandy. If you open up, the inside looks very similar to how it always has been. It's very open, very wide. Where the ZE500 was this quantum leap in serviceability, what we've done with the 511 and 521 is really just honed that serviceability. There's a lot more space in here, a lot due to the fact that we've gone to a single power supply. It's AC and DC. Four screws, three cables. That thing changes out in just a matter of a few minutes. We've moved the ribbon board and the ribbon motors together up here. That's easy to get to. It also makes for a neater cabling run. Modular drive system is the same as it always was um, from a standpoint of, of look and appearance and changeability. One single inline connector. Take that apart. And then there's three screws. All three of these screws are also captured. So you're not chasing these or dropping these in the environment where you're working as a service technician or installer. Now lets me get into those screws. I can remove three screws and take off this cover, and then I can get to my belts. The belts still have an automatic tensioner and a dynamic tensioner in there. I can change a pulley and the print head and change my resolution from 203 to 300 or 300 back to 203, depending on what I need. So this can be used as a component. This can be taken out and reworked on a bench or just for a simple belt change. You can take off this cover and do that inside. That's up to the, to the technician's desire. So that's our new design of our system. Uh, inside's a lot cleaner, new color touchscreen, faster print speeds. Uh, the front panel allows you to invert labels, which we did not have before, 180 degrees, so for right-hand, left-hand devices. It also allows you to select a coated side-in or coated side-out ribbon. So we're quite proud of it. We think it's a game-changer in the market. And we invite you to go to www.zebra.com to get any more information that you may need. Thank you so much.